Hi friends, this is the Nero Research and welcome to the part number 13 of Cryptocurrency Trading Bot Tutorial. In the previous video we have completed risk adjusted position sizing. Today we will continue topic of position sizing implementation and will focus on Kelly criterion sizing. Kelly criterion implementation is a little bit more difficult because it relies on historical performance which we even do not measure yet. Let's look again at Cayley criterion formula. It requires two input parameters. The first one is winning probability. It is the ratio between profitable trades and losing trades for each and every pair. And of course win or loss ratio, which is the ratio between average profit and average loss again for every pair. So in order to measure historical performance we have to calculate uh, success and losses for every pair separately and also calculate average profit and loss for every pair separately. Let's do this. So we need to add several properties to pair, pairs object. Let's start with success <coughs> for every pair and loss. We will update success and loss counter counters for every pair in the same place where we do it for general case, like here. So let's go this row here, plus plus here also and let's update losses Well, now we are able to calculate success and loss for every pair separately. Also, we have definitely placed close long position and close short position function calls below the success and loss calculation. Let's fix this bug. Like this. Now we are able to add two extra properties like profit and percentage of profit. Profit is an array which includes the number of bitcoins we have earned in each trade. So let's make it empty as of now. And profit and percentage of profit is also array that contains the ratio between close price and position entry price or vice versa. Let's also make it an empty array. Now we are able to calculate profit. Let's do this calculation in close position functions. Well, somewhere here. Let's create a variable, call it profit, and this variable profit equals to entry amount, let's copy and paste it, multiplied by the difference between close price and position entry price. Of course this works only for long position, so we have to do a little bit different for the short position. Let's replace close and entry price like this. Well, in case of long position, profit equals to 
entry amount multiplied by the difference of close price and entry price and for the short position it's entry amount multiplied by the difference between entry price and close price. Let's also print success and loss for every pair and profit into console once we close position. So let's let's add several messages here. Let's copy this row and change it a little bit like total success and loss and for each pair it would be a little bit different like this let's copy these two rows to the short position too and also let's print profit Let's copy this row to the short position close, like here. Now we can push this profit variable into profit array as a property for every pair. So let's copy. Oops. Profit. Push. Profit variable. Also, we can push into percentage profit. The ratio between close price and position entry price for long position. It's actually amount of money in percent we have earned or lost. Let's copy and update it for short position. Well, this row remains the same, but here we can we have actually make a small update like this, where profit percentage equals to entry price divided by close price. Now we have all required inputs to measure Kelly criteria. Let's do this in get position size function. The first thing we have to understand about Kelly criterion is that it relies on probability theory. Since Kelly criterion starts to work when we have a lot of trades. But let's start with some random number like 50 trades. So we'll start calculate Kaylee criteria only when we get 50 trades. Let's create a condition if pairs pair profit. It's actually the number of trades we had. Lens is greater or equal to 50, then we are able to calculate K criteria. Before we reach the level of 50 trades, as a Kelly criterion value, we will use some constant value. So let's make this constant value equal to 0 0.25. So let's create yet another property pairs object and call it Kelly and Kelly initial value is 0 0.25 when we reach 
50 trades will update this value of course. Okay, so let's put here our input parameters in order to get win probability and win loss ratio. Let's begin with winning probability, which equals to the ratio between amount of successful trades success and amount of total trades which is successful trades plus losing trades okay now we need to split positive profit and negative profit into separate arrays let's create this empty arrays positive is empty and do the same negative which is also empty array and let's let's loop through this profit array and get positive and negative profits and push them into these two arrays so let's have a loop element of this array if element is greater than zero we put it into positive else we have put into negative positive push element and negative push the absolute value of the element so let's take absolute value element like this now we are able to calculate average profit and average loss but firstly let's add variable here but we can calculate average profit and loss only when both positive and negative arrays have some values so if their length is not equal to zero so let's add this condition positive length is not equal to zero and negative length is also not equal to zero I have typo here so sorry need to fix it okay so now we can create some empty variable and call it positive average which is equal to zero for now so we can look through the positive array ln of positive and calculate the sum of all positive elements of average equals to plus equals to element then we have to divide this sum by the length of the array positive, positive average divided by positive length let's do the same for the negative numbers call it negative 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 and again negative okay we have average profit and average loss now now we are able to calculate win-loss ratio 
It is very easy to calculate win-loss ratio. It is simply ratio between positive average and negative average. Well, now we have all inputs parameters for Cayley criterion. So let's calculate Cayley criterion specifically for each pair. So let's go to this part. And here we will update Kelly property for each pair in pairs object. So Kelly equals to W minus 1 minus W divided by R. In general it is recommended to take a fraction of this expression. So let's divide this in the, by 2. Also sometimes in trained following strategies like ours uh, we may have more losses than gains and Cayley coefficient may get negative value. So in order to avoid any mistakes related to negative value, let's take an uh, absolute value of this expression. Mass, eps. Well, now when we have a calculated Cayley criterion coefficient, we are able to calculate criterion adjusted position size. Let's do that. We will calculate Kelly position size every time we call get position size function. So we will do it outside of this condition. Somewhere here. Kelly position size equals 2. We can copy this input from the risk adjusted position size. So we'll take our initial amount, we'll multiply it by Kaylee coefficient, and all this part will be divided by closing price, like here. So, until we have 50 trades, we'll use default uh, Kaylee criterion value, which equals to zero point twenty-five. Once we reach 50 trades, we will update Kaylee coefficient every every time we get uh, get position size function called. So, now we are able to calculate final position size. Let's make a small change here. So, this will be risk position size. And final position size. Let's call this simply position size equals to the minimum value. Mean between Kelly position size and risk position size. And our function will return position size value. We are almost done, but let's print Kaylee position coefficient and trade risk position coefficient. So, console log pair Kaylee position coefficient.
up, which equals to trace this coefficient. Also, let's check if Kelly position size is greater than Chris position size will print a message that Kelly is greater. Otherwise, we'll print that risk position size is greater than Kelly position size. So if Kelly position size is greater than risk position size, we'll print the message that position is adjusted according to risk position size. Position is adjusted according to risk position size. Let's copy this so. Else, if risk position size is greater than Kelly position size, then position size is adjusted according to Kelly position size. Well, let's hit save and run our code. Change directory to project blade runner. F.js. Well, we have an error. Let's figure out what's wrong. It is very easy to fix that. Let's go to the row 197. And I forgot to do like this. Let's save again and run code again. Well, our code is running without errors, so let's look at the output. As you see, our bot successfully uses two approaches, like Kaylee position sizing and risk-adjusted position sizing. This combination of both approaches, Kaylee criterion and trade risk, helped our bot to significantly improve its performance. Currently, we have 78.5 bitcoins and holding one position open, which is significant improvement from previous cases. But still, we are not making any money and our strategy needs optimization. In this video we have implemented Kelly criterion position sizing, so we can move it into the done tab, and finished topic of position sizing. Actually, we have implemented almost all stack from the event loop, but before we start doing something related to the live trading, we have to optimize our strategy. That's a task for the future video. Thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe to my channel if you want more videos, and leave your questions in the comment section below. Bye!